here on the beautiful mountain of Kirkpatrick in County Mayo. Um, it's Greek Sunday, a traditional Catholic pilgrimage where thousands of people come up here and it was half cancelled this year supposedly because of COVID-19. Um, some people came up anyway, me being one of them. The reasons for not to come up for COVID-19, and I'm not universally sceptical against it or anything, but the reason seemed a bit silly to me when you think about people um, you know, shopping in Henry Street by the thousands, and that's legal. There's no limit on the amount of people that can be there. When you look at the Black Lives Matter protest, when you look at the Eid celebration taking place in Grove Park, it's slightly different. But you know, generally speaking, I just felt like, you know what, it, it, it just feels like a bit of a religious insult. In a way, we live in like an anti-Catholic country now, to kind of bar people from coming, coming up here, or to uh, disencourage, if that's a word, people from coming up here. Because as you will see in a second, it's a massive mountain, even if thousands of people did come here. It just, you know, I don't have to be any, I don't have to be a doctor to tell you that, you know, there's a big wind blowing and they have an excuse of rescue personnel that would put pressure on them. I feel like this, you know, these excuses all seem a bit silly. The, the state could have just, even if they didn't like it, they could have said, we'll work, okay, it's going to happen anyway. It's a religious um, event. It's thousands of years old or a thousand plus years old. Um, and it's on a mountain with a massive breeze blowing across a huge landscape. Again, as you will see in a second. I'll, I'll take a walk around in a minute. But, yeah, um, they could have worked with it and said, okay, you know, for whatever reason we don't want you going ideally, but if people are going to go, we're going to, you know, if they're, if, if they're bothered by it, have hand sanitization things at the bottom or do whatever you want, but just, it, it feels like a, a slight to me not to let it go ahead and especially when the 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 pandemic the virus is supposedly on the way down i don't know yeah you know you have to have come up this mountain to see how big it is just to think come on this is preposterous um um but yeah so that's i don't know i didn't want to ramble on my thoughts on that you could people could challenge me on that from either side one person might say oh it's dangerous the other person might say the virus is completely fake it's all one big hoax i'm kind of in between those two things and I don't want to get into that. It's kind of like, just as a common sense normal person, I was just like, this is ridiculous. Um, and when I got here to Westport Mayo, guards everywhere, you know, uh, all up and down the road from Westport to the mountain, covered in police. It's just preposterous. Um, um, but anyway, so it's gone ahead. I've come up along with, um, you know, hundreds, I, I imagine about hundreds. I'd, yeah, hundreds of other people and it's a lovely sunny day. Again, I'm hiding by a wall, If I, in case I haven't mentioned it. It's because um, the wind is going kind of crazy. This is strong enough, uh, light sunny kind of breeze, but it's enough to make the audio go crazy and you wouldn't be able to hear me. So I'm just, I don't know, I'm just giving you my ramble here first. What else can I say about it? Uh, yeah, it's a holy uh, pilgrimage, I suppose. Um, I don't want to get into a religious ramble, whether I am or not, or any of that stuff. Um, it's not what I want to do. But, you know, uh, I think people should respect it either way, uh, and it's a positive thing. So it's nice. Um, it's my second time hiking Croke Patrick. Uh, it's a little bit of a tricky one. It's a hard one. You know, it, you just expect it to be easier than it is. It's one of those kind of mountains. Um, but it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful when you're up here. I think I should shut up now and just show you. I won't be saying a massive amount. Um, just because, again because of the wind but I'll just do a walk around and just show you and I hope I hope the camera can pick it up um, it feels cheap to ask people watching to subscribe but I'm, I suppose I should do that every video um, so do that if you haven't um, uh, and basically look after yourself maybe I'll, I'll keep talking but like you probably won't hear me with the with the wind but you have to see this anyway more important than my spiel check this out Oh, and if you haven't done it already, do it someday. Hope it's not too shaky there. And wait, we're going to get to Clue Bay now. Clue Bay, one of the most beautiful places in Ireland, probably in the world, I would say. How are you getting on? So there's a church built up here. Again, I don't know the history. Sorry, lads, look it up. But look at that.
I'm just recording, I'll upload it in a while. Unreal. Best in Ireland, I'd say. It's an uh, absolute blessing, this. Look at that. It's hard to believe it's real, isn't it? Just that there. So for the old viewers there, look at that. Please do this if you haven't before. And I've... Uh, I, uh, I used to do a lot more hiking than I do, but... Um, so I've been up um, a lot of the mountains around Kerry and various counties around the place. This, along with maybe Mount Brandon, Kerry, if you can hear me there at all, by the way, is, uh, I think this might be the best view in Ireland. Um, yeah. I think it might be. Everyone's having their lunch. Flag is planted. I'll show you the other side. So, see if this is worth it. So yeah, you've people of, um, people of all ages here. We've some more elderly people. Some younger people. A lot of kids. A lot of kids, like, that high. So, it's all in the lot of it. Here we go again. Sorry about that, look. I'm doing my best. Sorry. Massive um, view here. Uh, I don't know what you would call it. It's just a kind of big valley. You're not going to be able to hear a word I say. I'm uploading this anyway. Because why not? Check that out. Bunch of different people here, nationalists and some Catholic, you know, it's a big cross over there. Um, and like uh, anti COVID stuff and all that. I'm not really getting into that. You can find someone else to do that for you. I'm just enjoying the day. This is really nice. See that there? For those who don't know that, uh, I've mentioned it already. It's the town of Westport. There's a great night out to be had there as well. I'm like a tourism man. So That's about it really. Anyway, look, um, I'm working on one or two videos at the moment, and like I say, I'm not streaming because it, it streams there, and it, my internet isn't good. But I am working on some videos I've got away. Uh, I'll leave it there basically. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, do come up here next time, maybe next week, Sunday, next year. Hopefully, it'll be back to the big crowds. Um, although I have to say, it's kind of nice in a way that there's a small crowd. It's, um, it's a good and a bad thing in a way. Oh, no. I'm going to get it wrong, of course, but over here. Which, um, Bridget resisted uh, successfully, as far as I'm aware. Uh, uh, one of these globalist plantations, asylum seekers, hundreds of them for Ackle Island, they resisted it in their own way, so fair play for them. And I still haven't gone out there, I've never been on the island, I must go. I might even go, I might even go later. Anyway, yeah, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Take it easy, lads. Bye. <laughs>